Follow along with this video to learn how to connect Hire's compact washer to a sink. After opening the box, check and make sure you have the part supplied. Drain hose with guide and clamp, two water hoses, flat washers pre-installed. However, when connecting to a sink, you will only need one of these, a quick connector and two zip ties to connect to the sink, and the user manual. Tools you will need to complete the installation, pliers, wrench, and a carpenter's level. Also, make sure the drain is unobstructed and the sink has sufficient capacity to hold the water. Connecting to a kitchen sink or laundry tub as opposed to a bathroom sink is highly recommended. It's also very important that the drain hose connection is at least 39 inches off the ground. If the drain hose is routed too low, there could be draining and filling issues. After removing the aerator from the faucet, check if your faucet has internal or external threads. Next, let's take a look at the different washers within the Quick Connect. If your sink has internal threads, keep the first washer in place. However, if the threads are on the outside, as in our example, remove this rubber washer before connecting. Then, screw on and tighten the silver faucet connector to the sink. Now, take a water hose and using the gray end, labeled to the faucet, and connect it to the white part of the quick connector. Using pliers, tighten the connection an additional two-thirds turn maximum, but do not over-tighten. Next, take that end and depress the white collar on the quick connector. Then, push upwards onto the silver attachment on the sink. Now, take the other end of the hose and by hand, secure the white end of the cold water valve inlet. Then, using pliers, tighten an additional two-thirds turn maximum again, but do not over-tighten. Now, you're ready to connect the drain hose located on the right-hand side of the machine. Start by removing the plug from the drain. Next, squeeze the clamp to put it over the end of the hose. Push the end of the drain hose over the plastic drain port. Next, squeeze the clamp and slide it over the connection and release the clamp. Gently give a tug to make sure it is secured. From there, take the end of the drain hose with the guide and secure it to the hose at the sink. You can use the provided zip ties so that the hose will stay in place. Or, you can also use Velcro ties or something similar, which are reusable but still have a solid grip. Turn on the faucet and check for leaks at all connections. If no leaks are found, turn off the faucet. Now, use the level on the back and side of the machine. Leveling the washer reduces noise and vibration. If the washer is not level, use a wrench to adjust the leg. Once the unit is level and connected, plug in the power cord into a grounded three-prong outlet. Turn on the faucet and check for leaks at all connections. If no leaks are found, do not turn off the faucet. Choose a normal wash cycle to test and clean the washer before using. Hire. Room to invent.